Now for the first part of this question, I've started to draw a sketch of what we're given. We're told that we've got this car of mass 750 kilograms and it's moving up a straight road inclined at an angle theta to the horizontal where we're given that sine theta equals 1 15th. And the resistance to motion of the car from non-gravitational forces has a constant magnitude of R newtons and we're also told that the power developed by the car's engine is 15 kilowatts and the car is moving up at a constant speed of 20 meters per second so you can see that I've put no acceleration here and uh, we've got to show that R then equals 260 now to do this then I need to add more to this diagram. What we've got is that the car has a mass of 750 kilograms so I'd want to insert the weight of that car so that's going to act downwards and we'll mark that in as 750 G then Newtons. There's going to be a driving force coming from the engine, the car's engine that's pulling it up the plane so we'll call that D, D for the driving force and the units will be Newtons. There'll also be a normal contact force. Normally what I'd use is the letter R for something like this but uh, being a car and we've got R here let's just put a little subscript RC then, RC Newtons. Okay so in order to prove then that R equals 260, what we're going to look at is the equation for power. That will allow us to get what D is and once we've got D I'm going to want to resolve up the plane and that should allow us to get what R is. So that's just an overview then of how I'm going to go about this and uh, you might like to pause the video and have a go and come back in a few moments and uh, I'll run through the solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Now, as I said earlier, we're going to look at the power equation and you should be familiar with this that power equals essentially the driving force times the velocity. And what is that power? Well, We've got 15 kilowatts here and we've got to work in watts so that's going to be 15,000 watts. So we can then substitute up here 15,000 for the watts, okay the power there equals the driving force D times the velocity which is 20 meters per second. And if we rearrange this to get D, D is obviously going to be 15,000 divided by 20 and if you work that out you end up with 750 so that driving force will be 750 newtons. Now I said that we could resolve up the plane and if we resolve up the plane taking up the plane as positive then we've got all of the driving force acting up the plane which was 750 newtons so that would be 750 minus the component of the weight acting down the plane. Well, if we were to draw a dotted line in there, we know this angle is theta and the component of the weight acting down the plane is going to be 750 g sine theta. And because it acts in the opposite sense to what we've got here, it's going to be minus. And then we've got minus that resistive force R. And obviously this force RC being perpendicular doesn't enter our equation. And because it's going at a constant speed, no acceleration, then this must equal zero. That resultant force then provides us with no acceleration. Okay, so all we need to do is rearrange this for R. And if we add R to both sides, we end up with R equals 750 here, minus 750 times G, well G is 
and time sine theta. Sine theta we were given was 1 15th. And if we work this out, it equals 260, the value we had to prove for R. OK, so I hope that uh, made some sense. And uh, if you had a go, you're able to get that.